Hey guys, happy new year, happy 2018, and I hope 2018 is gonna be an awesome year for you guys, and I am finally set up and ready in my new space, in my new home, and I'm gonna start doing some more videos for you guys. So, one thing I've had a lot of guys asking is how to get Amsims working and getting started with home recording. So, I'm gonna be doing that for you guys today. So, what we're gonna be doing is Showing you guys how to get Amsims working in Reaper. Reaper is a very common door, it's very, very cheap, and it's really solid. I like it, so yeah. So, first things first, you're going to need your guitar. I'm using this Elaine Smith Zyrus. And then you're gonna need an interface. I am using the Focusrite Scarlet 6x6. Really, really cool interface, okay? Not that expensive, you can even get the 2i2 or the Solo. Much cheaper, and they do the job if you're just gonna be recording guitars at home. You then, looking at a DR box, I'm using this LNB Campus DR box. I think it's like a Countryman clone or something like that. Not a necessity in the beginning, okay? Really good to have and you should invest in a good DR box when you can, but they are not an absolute necessity in the beginning when you're starting out. Then you're gonna need your workstation. I am using Reaper, I love it, as I said before. And then you're gonna need all of your plugins. So we're gonna be using the Ignite Audio plugins with the Our Cab Simulator for the cab simulation. These are totally free to download and free to use, okay? So I will link all of them down below in the description. You can get those to get started. Now, before we carry on, you need to see in your Reaper preferences up the top over here and go down to your plugins and VST, and this will tell you where Reaper is looking for your plugins, okay? So this is where Reaper is looking for me, for the plugins. And then you're gonna wanna maybe open up a new Windows Explorer, and you're gonna navigate to this directory, you're gonna take your plugins, and you are going to paste them in here. I already have them installed, so I'm not gonna do that. And then after you've pasted them, click Rescan, or you can just simply close Reaper and open it up again, but yeah, just push rescan. Then you're gonna start up a new track, okay? So track, new track, or you can push Control T, that's the hotkeys to open up a new track. Then you're gonna arm your track and make sure to push monitor. This is a common mistake, guys. Often leave this unchecked or whatever, and then there is no audio, and then guys moan that their stuff isn't working and digital sucks, what a what a what. Then you're gonna to wanna to check your latency. I am using a 64 size buffer. It's 4.1 milliseconds and this is good. Um, I can track with this and I'm happy. So you can go lower if you want. It's just a bit more DSP intensive. So now let's start at the signal chain. Approach this how you're going to be approaching a proper guitar setup. So what's first? You're gonna have your overdrive setup. So this is the TSB that we downloaded, drive down, level up, turn a little bit more. This is just how I like to set this up. Then you're gonna open up and search in here for the emissary head that we downloaded. This is currently sitting on the clean channel, okay? And I'm gonna flip it over to the distortion channel. And whoops, and then, the most common thing that guys forget is now to add a cab sim. If you don't add a cab sim, it's gonna sound like It sounds horrible. And then guys, oh, digital sucks, it sucks. It's, well, of course that sucks. You don't have a freaking cab sim on it, you numbnut. And now we're gonna add our cab simulator, okay? This is, it's a free, it looks cheap. It hasn't even got a nice UI, but it actually sounds pretty good. I like the 6505 blended with the Soldano. Now, I haven't even started tweaking at the EQ section of the guitars yet, guitar amp yet, and this is what I'm getting straight away. <laughs> That's not too bad to start off with. I'm gonna kill the low mids, push a bit of the highs, push up the treble, maybe a bit more, and maybe throw some more gain. A 
Okay, and now this is a really good thing. You can see at the top over here, my guitars are clipping a little bit. So all interfaces will have a little bit of like a, an indicator to tell you how hot the incoming signal is. Here is a little bit hot. So I'm gonna drop down my signal just a little bit, just so that it's not too hot. And then I'm gonna do some really aggressive palm muting and see if I can clip the input. If I can clip the input, I need to go down a bit more. Cool, so that's that and now I am off to the races and I can start recording and fiddling here more and you guys can see this is how quick and easy it is to get a setup going and start tracking your guitars and you can worry about tone later. If you've got a reamping setup, you can reamp this into the real amp or you can choose different amp sims after you've actually finished tracking. So this is a great way just to get down and get ready to work without all the fiddling and faffing and fussing over tone. Get your tracks done and worry about the tone later. Anyway, thanks guys, thanks for watching this video and I hope this helped you and if there's anything more like this you want me to do for you guys, please leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will do my best to, to, get, to get to it for you guys. Thanks guys and if you like what you see, please subscribe.